In this video, you'll learn how to denoise or reduce grain noise from your footage. Here, we can see a lot of noise on the bed frame, the night table, and even over the subject on the left hand side. Here is the before and after side by side. Let's break this down. For starters, this example here is closer to an extreme case scenario. If we can fix this, then fixing less noisy footage becomes a breeze. If we zoom in on the bed frame, we can see just how pronounced the noise is. Let's start by adding a noise reduction effect. So I'll go to the effects tab, filter for video effects, and look up noise. I'll start with the HQD and 3D. We'll take a look at the other options in a bit. We have two sliders, spatial and temporal. To quickly demonstrate what each does, I'll zoom in on the subject on the right. And now I'll pay attention to the details of her face. When I increase the spatial slider, notice how the pixels are being pushed aside to generate a smoother image. We're losing details, but things are starting to look a bit more uniform. This can result in a muddy image if we push it too far, especially in shots that have a lot of details. Next, for the temporal slider, I'll push it all the way and I'll move a few frames forward. You can notice a ghosting effect, as if there is an offset in the display of the pixels over time. The less movement there is, the safer it is to increase this value, and the more movement, the more ghosting you'll get. Now, this alone won't fix our footage, but first, as a quick side note, let's take a look at the denoiser effect, which is similar to the HQD and 3D, except that it allows for keyframes. All right, moving on, I'll add the 3D FFT denoiser. This one can be a bit more complicated, but luckily there is the Caden Live manual. I recommend that you take a look at it. As a quick side note, today's video is powered by System76 Pinkolin Laptop, a real powerhouse. More about this machine in a later video. Now back to our tutorial. Okay, I'll increase the Sigma to four, lower the amount to 0.5, and slightly increase the overlap to roughly 0.6. To explain a bit, sigma is the denoising strength. Amount determines how much noise detection, and overlap is how much the blocks overlap. You can read more about it in the Caden Life manual. If you look at the before and after, you can see how the 3D FFT denoiser seems to blur the noise a little. Now, just an FYI, you also have the chroma noise reduction effect available for chromatic noise. Okay. We still have a lot of noise, but you could also say that we have some banding. So let's search for dbin in the effects tab and drag it in. Already, it seems we've greatly reduced both the noise and banding using the dbin. But wait, we now have a new problem. The final result looks muddy and we've lost quite a bit of detail. To fix this, we can add a sharpen effect. Search for sharp and add the sharp slash unsharp effect. Adjust the luma strength until you get some details back, but be careful not to push it too far. I'll set mine to 1. Remember to adjust these values to fit your footage. You don't have to use all of these effects. Make sure to check out the Kaden Life manual for more information and click on this video here to learn how to remove objects from your videos.